Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And just yesterday, a internet friend of mine gave me these files that I'm going to share tomorrow after I do some testing. And I've already looked at them. And there's some, he, he drew this or somebody drew it years ago. And there's some, a little bit of a problem. And I noticed when I was working on them that there were double lines everywhere. And if we're going to, I am actually going to vector engrave these to this one tomorrow. And I was cleaning up the lines and I've still got a little bit of cleaning up to do maybe right in there to close the nodes. But I noticed there were double lines everywhere. And in vector engraving, that would kill you. And you could see that there's two lines, at least two lines on top. There's three four, four lines there. So we need to get rid of those because if you don't, the laser is going to cut them four times. There are 1,270 objects on this little four by seven uh, artwork. And I make a lot of videos about uh, macro monster and E cuts and Whenever I use it in a everyday situation, I just, I love it. So I open up E cuts and I go to the second frame and find duplicates. I set my tolerance on zero. The units doesn't really matter. And 1,270 objects. It deleted 938 objects. Now, there are only 334 objects, which is a lot more believable. So that's Monster Macro E-Cut. Uh, you'd have to almost start over. So somebody gave me these files, and there's full shading with grapes in the background and vines, and pretty cool. So hopefully tomorrow, after I do my test cut on this one right here, I'm actually going to vector engrave it and then cut it out uh, like this. And then I'll do some more testing and I'll share it with my viewers. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.